With clear minds and open hearts, Kalyana Mitta gather, seeking a fresh start. Addressing a world of fear and perpetual dissatisfaction, we have come together for mindful action. Many of our communities are torn, conflicted, and in pain. Balks of war and revolution, bringing tears like rain. Bombs are daily dropped with arrogant conviction, ordered by blind leaders acting on deluded affliction. Extreme politics continue to incite bigotry and hate, marginalizing our brothers and sisters in cruel debate. If harmony is our goal, then let us carefully reflect how to plant seeds of peace in every nationalist sect. From the perspective of practice, we must look within. Seeing the suffering is where to begin. Our mind streams are often trapped in social media frenzy, agitating awareness with passion, deception, and envy. These manipulated realities challenge trust and stable spread. Are we sure that the truth didn't die a digital death? Globally rocked by a virus too small to perceive, locked up inside, our world began to grieve. The unknown embraced us with intensity and power. Grasping in fear, we watched case counts by the hour. As isolation spread, anxiety filled empty streets. Hearts ached for each other over years of forced retreat. While governments chanted impermanence, life stood still. With courage and compassion, kind beings cared for the ill. Enforced masks and vaccinations ensured safety and respect. But who did these civil restrictions really protect? Grounded fleets and travel bands cleared the clogged skies. Remember my beauty, the earth clearly advised. Our climate visibly changed during that brief global pause only to be chewed again by prophets' uncaring jaws. From Earth's great forests to wide open seas, our precious biosphere is being brought to its knees. Crazed mass extraction of nature's fossil reserves degrades our planet. Is this what she deserves? While every cop promises to plant sustainable seeds, greenwashed cop-outs thinly veil corporate greed. Our house is on fire and continues to burn. How many more species must we mourn? Conditioned as we are by self-centered striving, wise minds focus where compassion is arising. In the silence of grief, and space between thought, a vow of resilience is whispered and mindfully caught. In humble service we have gathered from many distant lands to strengthen trust in a future built with head, heart and hands. Though our world is at risk and stakes higher than ever, through reflective action we boldly commit to this noble endeavor.